What's up guys, it is How To Ria Teos. I'm going to be showing you guys how to make your very own Forge Bucket server. Okay, we got our, just make a file on your desktop. I recommend you can run it straight off the desktop, but it'll cr make all kinds of crap on your desktop. So you're just going to want to, uh, yeah, okay. Um, we're going to want to open up Google Chrome, Firefox, Windows, or Internet Explorer, whatever you use for uh, your internet provider and to get actual forge bucket we're gonna go to this link which I will have in the description and we go here and you're gonna want to download the MCPC plus 1.4.7 snapshot you can download that just keep it open it up in the folders it is not going as fast as it should be so you guys can do that I'm just gonna cancel this because I already have it and then we I will just grab this right now from over here there we go and we're gonna take a snapshot which you will download which is right here and then also you will need this run folder right here and I will have that on Mediafire and you guys can download that and if it says this does not work, what you will need to do is um, change either this, the name of this, to match the one in the run folder. As so, this right here, the Dodger R MCPC, that and that need to match. So if they don't, just make a name for both of them so they match, and then you can run it, and then you can change the amount of gigs to allocate right there then once you get both of these files which will be both in the description you hit run and bada bing bada boom you are on your way to having your very own forge bucket server I will also be having a new forge bucket server soon uh, it'll be uh, I think a hundred scale or something but it's pretty much a f it is a full map of the Lord of the Rings and that will be up fairly soon it'll be everything races factions all kinds of good stuff and I will put that up soon I'll put up the site and then as you can see this is all going it's planned it's just generating the world and you get your plugins and your mods and core mods and if you guys need help installing mods and core mods I can show you guys how to do that and also I'll have a port forwarding up in the future and this is how to Teos, and I'm out <laughs>